I'm gonna give this a shot. First take, hopefully this candle is enough light for you to see my face and not look too mysterious. Um, I just wanna share some thoughts. I just watched the Godfather movie series, The Triology, and I haven't watched a movie in months, so. First movie was really immersive. Second movie, you kind of just like, ugh, it's like playing a video game. That same feeling, just, what are you doing? And then this morning, it's like 7 a.m. right now. I just finished the third. And I just want to share like some thoughts. So if you're not aware, The Godfather is, um, American Italian Mafia, or I guess you, yeah, that's Mafia, but the, the family, it's New York, it's, it shows, I mean, I need to research the actual, actual history, but it's that, 1940s, first starting um, around the OG Godfather, and then there's his son, which becomes the new godfather. It's like 19, I mean the backstory in the second movie. It gets, anyways, like you can say it's 1900 to 1950 and it moves on in the third movie, obviously. You watch this man, young man, move from innocence to well he was in the war and that isn't talked about really but he gets in the world of killing people he gets in the world of business lots of power always an aspect of danger constantly in the business he loses his family. He kills some of his family. He, like, a lot of this stuff. What is interesting, because this trilogy basically shows the entirety of his life, is as nice as the attire is, because they have money, obviously. The cars aren't talked about the clothes aren't talked about, the nice places aren't really talked about, it's just an asset in most cases. The real spice, the real story, the seasoning if you will, which is ironic, is people. Where the most love, the most emotion, the most regret, what is carried on to his older age, is it any of the bullcrap, right? It's people, it's relationships, it's the actions he's done to people. And that's what's taken away. And I said ironically because the Bible says, obviously, we're supposed to be the salt of the earth. What is salt if it's lost its flavor? And looking at someone's entire life that way, I'm not no like chess master. I don't even play chess. I don't even know, like I, I really don't know anything about chess. But I guarantee you, the good people, they don't just react on the other person's movements. They plot, not just a couple steps ahead, but the best chess masters I would imagine are constantly trying to frame things as later down the line as possible. And in life, you see like movies like, as I just mentioned, and makes you think about your own, makes you think about the stuff you're doing right now that's meaningless, 
perhaps the stuff that you aren't doing that is meaningful. And I want, my takeaway is like, I want to constantly frame my life as if I'm on my deathbed or I'm just like the oldest I can be. How does he think? What would he want? Not from a place of, well, to a degree, selfishness. Perhaps selfish about Because at that, at that time in life, it is really just people that you care about. By then, the extravagances of like the materialistic things, it's all faded. Especially when someone who has experienced it in such wealth and power. It's just a given. It's a baseline that isn't even acknowledged. It's just life. So if you're still watching this, the goal for you that I want the viewer to have which thank you for watching, by the way. Thank you for your time. It's you to do the same and to frame your life way down the line. Now, obviously, that means health. That means relationships. But, like, think about the nitty-gritty. What are you accepting today that he wouldn't even acknowledge? It's not important. All the bad stuff you know you're doing, obviously. Like, dang, if only 18-year-old Jake would just get it together, right? Maybe it's living based off the opinions of others, which ironically, before I started watching the video, I watched a video by Jeshua, so shout out to him. He was in a similar contemplative state talking about he needs to go all in, which that was six months ago, and he's for sure, I think, going all in. And just letting yourself be held back by others' opinions, living your life literally just people-pleasing. You're letting someone else determine your destiny, and likely those people aren't people you don't want to live like. Like, all of these things to take in consideration. Just, it's something to think about, right? So, good morning. Thank you for your time, as I said. I appreciate you. Maybe subscribe, maybe like, maybe comment, actually. That would be very good. Let me know your thoughts, and maybe something to consider, especially if you're older, I would like to hear your advice, maybe get some perspective. So, have a good day, have a good morning, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.